Hello all. Welcome back to Career with Vasant YouTube channel. My name is Vasant. I hope you all doing well. In this particular video, I'm going to burst a lot of myths around like around the front end development. So as it is 2025, which is the right framework or library to learn. Like if you are somebody who is a fresher or you just started your career or you have doing your work in some other domain and want to transition into front end, which library or framework to learn? So that's going to be a million dollar question. I'm going to break it down step by step in this particular video. Okay. So let's start by understanding like how the market is right now. Correct. So there are primarily three different libraries plus framework for just for the easy understanding. I'm going to refer all of them as a framework right now. And I'm going to, whenever I'm explaining, I'm going to break it down, which is framework and which is library. So primarily there are three things that is react angular and view. So I can tell like, these are the three things that is right now significantly significant chunk of the front end development happens around three, these three things. Correct. So now among these three, which one to learn, correct. A lot of people have this question. So especially in 2025, as an era of AI, there's so many things can be automated with the help of AI. If you are somebody who is now planning to learn or planning to transition, what should be your thought process or what should be your choice? Okay. So React, as you know, React is not a framework. React is a library. So where for building the UI components developed by Facebook and again maintained by Facebook, you cannot merge a PR into React.js repository without Facebook developer approving it. Though it's an open source, finally controlled by Facebook. So all the changes they propose and as a individual contributor, you can contribute, but Facebook has a final authority to release or reject whatever you are basically made the code change. Okay. Strength, flexible, huge community. Okay. I don't think like right now there's any framework or library in the earth that has like in front end development has that much community support as well of ReactJS. Learning curve, moderate, requires JavaScript fundamentals. Learning curve of ReactJS is not very hard. If you know basics of JavaScript, you can learn ReactJS very quickly. And use cases, dynamic and scalable application, like if if at all like website like Facebook, Instagram and very popular e-commerce applications like Amazon and Netflix for streaming web, web application. If they are using React, so that is the testimony that anybody can use it. So this is the advantage of React. Okay. I'm going to give you like walk through all the different frameworks and then I'm going to tell you which one to pick. Next is Angular. Angular is like, Angular is not a library. Angular is a framework. So everything that you want from a front-end development engine or a thing that completely exists in Angular. So you don't have to worry. And it is very structured way of development. So strength, if you see like TypeScript support, out of the box features, everything that you want are out of the box available, but you need to spend time understanding it. Learning curve is steeper. Concepts like dependency injection, services. So you need to understand the co concepts very well because as it's a framework, you need to use the things that it's been officially mentioned. You don't have a lot of freedom. Whereas in terms of React is a library, React don't even have you like typical folder structure. However, you want to build it, you can create your own folder structure. Got it? So have absolute freedom as it's a library. Angular on the other hand has certain limitations. And use cases, large scale enterprise apps like Google Workspace. So definitely this is backed by Google and uh, it is an again open, Angular is also open source, again controlled by all the chains and development are controlled by Google itself. But it is right now, with my experience of talking to a lot of people and my past experience, Angular kind of like limited itself to large scale enterprise apps, mostly targeted for B2B applications, not B2C. Okay. So we're business to business. For example, company like Oracle has built a new SQL software and build a user interface for that. Most likely they're going to pick Angular over React because they need some framework, which is like very solid. Okay. So that is the difference between React and Angular. React on the other hand targeted for both B2C and B2B, but it has one lot of hearts in B2C and has a large community support. Whereas in case of uh, Angular primarily targeted for enterprise or B2B, relatively a lesser community I can tell. not like too many too much less but compared to react it has lesser community third thing is Vue.js, a progressive framework lightweight framework actually you if you think like it has advantages of both uh angular as well as react it's also a lightweight framework you can consider more like a library only but it's framework so stim simple reactive data binding clean syntax so same how the reconciliation concept of react is used in view as well so learning curve easier suitable for beginners so again it's also easy so if you can if you have understood javascript concepts very well the learning curve for react and view are almost the same view is not very hard use cases small and medium apps, uh, apps alibaba or xiaomi websites examples are given so right now this uh, view is primarily targeted for small and again enterprise sort of an apps which is not expecting too much of a user visits every day so does that mean like if somebody like if they build you can't we build the e-commerce application like amazon or flipkart using vue.js we can build 
but right now it is not leveraged that way it is primarily targeted for those apps which are relatively have lesser user visits on day to day basis things like alibaba or zoyomi website how often you are going to go to zoyomi website and buy a mobile phone correct alibaba also definitely it's more like amazon of china but the core app of alibaba is not built in vue.js there are certain aspects of alibaba which are built in vue.js okay so community support view relatively very low because it's just emerging though it's been many years i can, can definitely call it emerging it's not having so much of a large user uh, base to support you okay so if you go to the comparison table type react js is a library angular is a framework you view js is a progressive framework learning curve react js is moderate angular is steep view js is easy even the react js is moderate react js and view i don't see that's lot of difference you can consider easy to medium community support react js is the largest community support angular has the large support view has the growing support and use cases react js used for the dynamic apps enterprise apps and view js used for the small and medium apps okay so right now all of this if you think so react js is primarily winning the hearts so now let's understand if you are a fresher if you are somebody who wants to transition your career into front end development what should be your choice let's understand or let's be very honest 99% of us learn any technology because that has a lot of career growth correct so you will be learn something because of which we can make money let's be brutally honest correct most of us if given a choice probably we will not even pick it as our first option probably we'll do something else that our heart really likes to do correct so end of end goal of learning a technology is making money correct for most and i know there are few people who really want to learn technology for the sake of learning it if at all you are learning something is for the sake of money or betting getting a good career of 15 20 years where you get to learn like go to a lot of different roles correct in that case i would highly recommend please learn react learning angular is okay or learning views okay but react js you should learn according to me react js will be also by knowing react you will also know react native is a mobile application development so platform so knowing this will give you an opportunity across lot of different companies and lot of different roles and the growth curve is very high so you can become architect you can become principal architect just in front end by learning react it is the same with respect to angular view i don't see that right now happening and considering the ai taking over i don't even think that's going to happen in near future like i don't think a new framework would come which will like take like a wave in the near future which will vanish react fully i don't think that's a possibility so in 2025 if you are learning something for the sake of job and a good career choice please learn react js angular or view if you are enthusiast go ahead and learn nobody is going to stop you but if it's your whole intent is for the job learn react js and master it i have a detailed video how to learn react js in 2025 i'm going to put that link somewhere in the description also in the description section please go ahead and learn it okay thank you so much for watching if you like the video please like comment whatever you felt honestly share the video with your friends so that they can also get benefited subscribe to my channel career with vasant sub follow me on linkedin uh, uh, my link will be in the description section follow me on medium i'm going to write lot of articles on almost on a weekly basis and join a telegram community we have 3200 plus members all across the world who are highly talented and like committed to support the people who ever ask questions so again link is in the description section thank you so much for watching catch you in the next video